Yeah, at least we have an 03 yet. Okay, lots of good choices here. I don't think I'm going to first pick Fateful Strike, but I think the card is decent. Samwise is amazing. Gothmog is pretty good. Arwen is amazing. There's a Claim here. There's a Smite here. I think Sam is the best card in this pack. So much value. Only problem is it's a white card. AGGs, if that was you. All of my opponents had good games, I'm sure. Into an Aowen. It's just a 3-mana 2-4 with uh, combat upside, right? Which is to say it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I didn't have fun in any of our losses <laughs> that last draft. <sighs> Dude, the Aaron Rider of Gondor is pretty cool, too. Although, maybe I should be taking a third pick, Claim the Precious. But this is really easy just to be a 3-mana three 3-2 three draw card. Yeah, it wouldn't be surprising to see a Denethor. Maybe we can go white-black. I've had good success with white-black. I want to have good success with white-green. I want to draft a cool food deck that does stuff with a bunch of mushroom dogs and stuff. Ah, nice reprieve. Just a razor blade. Ooh, 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 what do we have here? Falling right into it. Nice. I'm going to take the two drop over troll. Hey, bats in the black white decks were the really good too, isn't it? I like the tail of two new veal, but. Let's do this. Trolls dece. Draw a card and make a food. We might play a blade. Yeah, that ain't bad. Similarly to people not knowing this drew a card, I didn't realize this had flying for a long time, which makes it a little bit more playable. Thor's a bad dude. Denny, Denny, Denny. Yeah, I mean, the abilities, whatever. Aowen, womp womp. Take it in splash, it's probably worth, or at least consider splashing. Wait a minute, we already have the Aowen. She's a lady, and she's a fearless knight. Find you a lady that can do both, you know? There's an errant rider of Gondor again. Or we can just take the Grand. Big Daddy Grand. 5-5 five, five, Trample for 4. I mean, I'll take it. Mm, a Reaper here? I guess this can help. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't really help splash AON, does it? No. I'm sure I'll want to pick up at least one nasty end later too. Ooh, Golem's Bite is nice. Yeah, this deck's looking good. If I go 1-3 again, it is going to be a very short stream. <laughs> Shorter than initially intended. Old Man Willow is also great. Stalwarts of Osgiliath is okay. I guess I can just take Fog here though. That's probably better. Another reprieve. Hey, hey, hey. This feels good to cast a white remand, doesn't it? Shire Terrace here for maybe splashies. Okay, this is the deck for the Oath. The black-white tokens. We've got a Bats already. If I, can take, if I can find another Bats, we'll cut the Soldiers of the Grey Host. The Black Breath? I think the card's okay. I don't have much tempt here, do I? One, two, three, four. Oh, actually four. Eh, four, not very much. 20 gems. Alright, it's been a rough start to this format. But we'll...
perk back up, I'm sure. We're at a 59% win rate. And only one trophy in 10 drafts. I guess this is draft number 10, so one trophy in nine drafts. Thus far. Rivendale, nope. All good picks. I've been really happy with Lost to Legend. So many legendaries in the format, or you can just target their ring bearer. Fourth from the top. That's basically never drawing it again. Yep, I'll be heading out on Sunday and filming with them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Another Golem's Bite or a Claim the Precious. I suppose Claim is probably smarter. Vein's very good. I've been really happy with that card. Mm, I'm sure the person will say when they want to say, but I don't want to spoil it if they haven't said anything. Fear Fire Foe! Another Fog, Vanguard, Medicine's decent, Torment's good. Creature count is not very high right now. How many ways to make creatures do I have? One, two, three. Okay, so we're a little bit higher, but I actually need to start taking creatures. There is no creature here. In fact, this pack is real bad for us. I mean, I can play these soldiers. I don't think they're bad. I just prefer to have something else. Could splash Theoden and Aon. Human count is uh, not high enough. Two, two for two. Medicine is kind of like a creature. I think we just want the two drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, two drops. That's good at least. Oof, another mulligan. That's a maybe piece of fixing. Oh, this one is anyways. The Great Hall of the Citadel is fixing for legendaries. The Grey Havens I would not call fixing for legendaries. Three mana, two, three with a food. Or Orcish Medicine. I guess Medicine's fine. No Denethor. Oh well. So what this deck has is a good low curve. And a bunch of removal. So I think this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Shalob's Ambush better than what? Medicine? Maybe. Should be one or two wheeling, shouldn't there? We saw like three this pack. Poor Bilbo. Here's another way to splash the AON. Is there any treasure here besides this? Oh, Torment's not bad, too. There's an ambush. Do we want to go 16 lands here? We probably could. <clears throat> Curve is pretty low. If we can get away with 16 Landos. That's probably fine. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, you have not missed them. The uh, artist has not gotten back to me yet. Discards the bread. Can't kill Sam, he's indestructible. Hey, wait a minute.
It doesn't shut down a mass. This is probably intentional, right? But because it turns it into a spirit, um, they can start amassing again. Also doesn't turn off Grand. What? Right, it doesn't turn off any vehicles. Yeah, Trebuchet is nice. Discards the knife wound. They do have a lot of cards in their hand. That's good. We are breaking their gates. <laughs> oh, they have a kill a damaged creature card. Boo. Bitter downfall or whatever. Boo. Everybody boo this opponent. Ooh. Actually kind of surprised they didn't kill Grand though, since Grand tramples. Okay. I think I like trading here since they have the trebuchet for any ring bearer anyways. Sure. Oh, that should lock her up, huh? Always gotta double check the trebuchet. Make it doesn't uh, make sure it doesn't have like reach or something silly, you know. Grand, grand, grand. The surprise all-star of that match was actually the 1-1 one, one army that just let me attack with grand without crewing. Hands great, magic's great. Revealed! Gandalf is just Pog, but yeah, Blue-Red Gandalf has been my favorite so far. Uh-oh! I didn't want to reprieve it. Okay, that's pretty funny. Counter, counter, counter. <laughs> they actually just lose because I've put pressure on the board and they have nothing. Like I just attack here, I golems bite the 1-1 one, one token that they're gonna amass and then they lose because I just never need to play another creature. I think Inscription's great, but I think this Glorious Gale card is overrated. Soothing of Smeagol. Uh, that's fine. Because they don't have mana to counter. Alright, GG. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have played that land. Uh, 
I love what they're doing. They just are running too many gales. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've ran plenty of gales, but never more than one. That was pretty awkward. All right, it's got a couple of twos. Probably can't mulligan. So I've got to play the 2-2 two, two out to trade with that. OP is going to be on red-white aggro. It's really annoying. And just like that, we lose. Womp womp. I'm not killing their food. Thank you, though. Oh, that's right. I can still trade because it's a goblin. I actually forgot about that. Oh my gosh, in fact, this is a really good block for us, isn't it? They might have forgotten about that, too. Dude, well, good thing we waited. <laughs> By playing dumb, I played smart. I'm the best. Oh yeah, there's a lot of lot of work that goes into game nights. I think people don't realize. I don't think they're 12 hour sessions, at least when I've been on they haven't been, but they are long. Sure, I'll get tempted. It's ground. This is the hardest I've seen Rosie go off, and in, of course it's in our red-white deck, not even a red-green. Or whether white-green. No, Rosie's really good. You wouldn't expect it from a red-white deck, but red-white makes a lot of to- like, the, uh, what's the- make two humans? Oh jeez. That is aggressive. Alright, I'm gonna crew. Jeez! Kind of wrecked there, didn't we? God, I hope they use a removal spell now. What did I tell you? Sam is indestructible. Is this what you call stabilizing? Because I think we just did. No! Sam, no! Uh-oh. Okay, wait a minute. That's fine. A 4-4 four -four ring bearer here is actually very annoying, though. That golem's bite was a good draw because I can block with the bat and then bite. Stop! 3 mana, 3-2 draw card. I love this. I think it's one of white's best commons. I'm saying if they get rid of the 4-5. Yes, I can obviously just block here, but under the assumption they draw removal. Okay. They don't need to, and if I do it in response, they can't deal any damage with the poke. You know what? 
I actually think I crew the Grand here. Oh wait, no, we don't need to do that yet. I'm going to crew the Grand end of turn and draw three with it. Jeez, that would have been really bad. Oh, <laughs> golly. That would have been so bad. Um, the Esquire is actually a little bit annoying, but I'm going to take their instant speed interaction. Should have probably just main phase sacrificed that uh, food. How kind of me to give the opponent a food. You're welcome, OP. Is three to activate, right? Yeah, I think we're blocking like this. Troll's too important here, and we're about to make three one ones, which are just insane. They will enter tapped, but. This Ungol patrol is doing fantastic work. Oh, that's really bad. They're going to start drawing two cards a turn. Oh, hello! 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Did I run 16 or 17 lands in this deck? Good. It's better to kill that because it has an ability. This can stop something else. Oh, that's annoying. What is the wording on the ring bearer? Oh wait. They targeted the non-ring bearer. Oh, that's right. Grish, yeah. I knew that too. I have to be careful. I could deck myself here. I don't think I'm going to sacrifice any more of my flyers. Am 
Remember, the attack is, or the draw is a must. In fact, I probably shouldn't have sacrificed that last token. That was bad. Oh my god. I wonder if they just do it to kill my flyers now. I'm gonna deck out. Yeah, yeah, we can target it. Maybe I should have. So I'm going to go down to four cards. I'm going to attack, go to three. What's left in my deck? Let's see. Vanguard, Aowen, claim the precious two land. I'm going to start attacking with my four or five, I guess. All right, let's keep our doo-doo alive here. I don't want to draw a card. So if I draw Claim the Precious, I win with that attack. Oh, shoot, why didn't I- I was supposed to attack with my 4-5 again. Whoopsies. Um... Do I Do I have lost Legend the... I guess I don't want them to draw two. Could have done that to the Grishnok, though. Oh, they conceded! Oh! If they didn't concede, I might have decked out. Oh. I don't think they were paying attention to the cards in my deck. That Aeon was the only thing I would have been able to tuck, but speaking of. Dead. Turn one Lancer, we're dead. Turn two Flamesmith, we're dead. Vigilance, because I don't mind if they block and trade. Sure. Oh, so because they want to get in for one damage, I guess. Aeowyn the Ring Bearer. Fire Foes is just a good, good good card. A good card indeed. Rohirrim Lancer is a great one drop, yes. Card does work. Okay, so they get to loot now. Oh wait, that was only the first trigger. Why did I think they had two already? Yo, Toast Stompa! Thanks for the 29 months, Subby! Holding the land for... Um, discarding, because if I cast Claim the Precious, we get to loot. Ooh, that's the third temptation! That's a pretty good draw. I'm at 14. Four. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think I need to leave back the flyer. If I don't leave back the flyer and they have claimed the precious, that's almost just lethal, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to play it a little bit cautiously here, especially since we have a gain 5 in our hand. Give flying. Did I miss give flying to something? This doesn't give flying. Right? We did that main phase to make the token. Because now we don't need to crew grant. We just get to smack. Hands great. Uh oh. Hope he knows about birthdays. Quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a grand. I thought there was a chance they wouldn't block and that I'd pump for four, but maybe I should have played the Cavalier pre-combat and given that the... Uh, Ring. Oh, that's good. All of these are bad. Alright, good news is Gandalf's gone. Uh, let's see. I get the loot here. Maneldor. Maneldor is very good. Tap out for the Willow Wind, scry two, and then flicker it. It's a good play. I think I'm going to wait until I can also hold up my Samwise. Okay, I mean, they must have a trick if they didn't do this pre combat. Ketun Ji Ling since the 58 months. Not thrilled with our spots. Yep, 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 yep. Very obvious. Thanks, Savage.
If I had drawn a swamp there, I'd be a little bit tempted to pitch the soldier. Yo, Frizzy Fry Frog, thanks to the 47 months of E. When's the next arena open? Okay, that's nine damage. Don't feel great. Looking pretty dead here. I mean, we're dead to any, uh, attempt. Nothing I can do about it. GG. July 1st. Alright, that's still a couple of weeks. Two one one flyers on turn two. Shake my frickin' hand. Don't you bite one of these. Uh oh. Oh. That's actually pretty funny. They can make another a mass. Of course, because now this is a spirit. We were just mentioning this earlier, but that turns it off for at least now. All right, that is not what they needed. Okay, so Red Black has multiple ways to kill a bunch of 1-1 tokens. If they have any of them, we lose. If they don't, we probably win. So let's cross our fingers and uh, hope that they do not have. That patrol was a pretty great draw. Mm, I guess that it depends. I would guess it's easier to actually achieve it in Constructed. Ooh. Yeah, this is not going well. Hello, hello? I'm gonna need to find it Claim the Precious or something. We're dead. Oh, we drew the claim. I don't know if that saves us, though. Yep, they did have the bite. Again, I thought they had that since turn two or whatever. Alright, the Cavalier is great versus their army.
Why did they not sack food? They can't do anything with it, can they? Maybe they have the uh, sack an artifact or creature deal four, but we're probably already dead anyway. All right. They're making that their ring bearer. Interesting. Old? Does the Eastmark Cavalier claim another victim? I think it does. I think I have to play out the Grand. I don't see how I win by just holding up Reprieve there. Damn it. Alright, good beats. The bats plus the oath. We did it. Mono black thus far, huh? Damn, Crabane. Take your damn medicine. Okay, you can have your army. Goodbye, Mr. Ent. Green, black. Another vanguard. Need to get this saga online ASAP. I might not even play the bats next turn, even though it's good to get it online with the oath so i'm not really particularly interested in like draining them for three getting the four or five online seems like it might be a little bit better oh. that's bad i guess we're gonna get grounded uh, I have that white white trick, right? What's it called? Yeah, Lost to Legend. That's probably what we're going to need to find for Grand. Oh, we also have a Westfold Rider. Ambush would work. Golem's Bite would technically work. Uh... Can I win if I don't double block? Can I win if I do double block? Oh, I didn't even see them emote. Not that emoting matters. I think we're going to have to make this type of block eventually anyways. So. Okay. That's good. Blackout Beach, thanks for the four months of E. Wait, island? And then they didn't even play it.
First strike, baby. Palantir is great. I think that card's very good. I mean, it gets going immediately, so... Aha! It all makes sense now. All makes the sense. Uh, let's see... Oh, it's only when he sacrifice. Boo! They had another way to turn on the tempt. No, I got stuff to do. Daddy mode won't be in full swing for a little bit. Pretty easy double block here, methinks. The Grandfather. Take four. No, no nasty end. Don't do it. It's a close game here, chat. What's up, shift switch? Thanks for the 35 months. Damn it. Yeah, Gron's great. Ooh, man. Actually, maybe I should have crewed an attack with Grand, given it Death Touch while they were tapped out. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Might get punished now. They probably would have made it. We would have been one short of lethal, because they would have double blocked. And I would have to tap one of my spirits to attack, but... Could have went for it for sure. Now who knows what I get punished by. I don't think I'm supposed to save my gra uh, my token. But Gron's been great. Four mana, five five trample. All right, so they get to hit me for four and loot. I need to find a creature so I can attack with uh, Spirit and Grand. I think. They draw Ents Fury? Is that what... They must have looted into Ents Fury and that's what they're thinking about, no? Yeah, 
This gives us a food, so. Yeah, they need to block with uh, multiple here. What I could have gone for if I was extremely greedy was like crew the Grand, target a creature with ambush, reprieve the ambush. Oh no, that wouldn't even work. Never mind, because I would have already crewed it. No, no, I could go for ambush, reprieve the ambush, hope to draw a creature to crew the Grand. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been funny. Well, what did the mathologists say about Grand? Why do I feel like they had an Ens Fury they could have cast last turn? Okay, get your looty tootie. Bonk. Just go for your 5 7 reach, please. I'm pretty sure they had that last turn. I don't know why they didn't cast it on Grand. Wait, I could have just let that resolve. Oh no, what am I doing? They were dead to the token. Whoopsies. Oh no, I punted. I wanted the card draw, but... Fortunately, I'm not getting punished here. punt was I had no reason to cast the reprieve. Make them spend their mana and leave themselves dead on board, so. Those are just some weird plays, I don't even know. Why wouldn't they kill the flyer? Do the conies doesn't make sense because they could have just stewed the uh, the grand on the turn that I crewed it there. Rip. Maybe saved? They must have a counter? Sure. Uh oh. Phew! I was debating if I wanted to let them draw a card first, but... All right, you can't uh, gale that one, but you can Saruman's whatever. Well, it was. Yesterday was my last stream, but today is also my last stream. Before I go. This is... A, read the title of a stream. This is a secret stream. Really would like to have hit a land there, darn it. Okay. Guess who's back? Ooh, are they gonna sack the golem to kill the bat? And then get the, uh, yeah, get the third trigger. The third temptation. Sure. 
It's a little bit aggressive, but I like it. Land, please. Discarding Oath? I'm, I must be dead. Yikes. And Fog on the Barrow Downs is so bad versus Gollum. I take six here. Ugh. 151 rum, pineapple juice, and Malibu, and a boom, and a boom, numb. Yo, Patrick! Thank you for the 43 months of ground, 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 ground. Gotta do what you gotta do, even if it sucks. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 All right, so bring back Gollum, play out Saruman. Fortunately for us, they can't Saruman and Gollum. They're one mana short. That's actually not a bad draw. Oh, reverse Grondage. And the double spell. Okay, hold. I mean, we're dead. If you could instant speed the uh, Westfold Rider, we wouldn't be dead dead. Problem is, they can free, freely crew the Grand, or they already have free crew Grand. So they just somehow need to make a mistake, and I'm not sure that's even possible. <laughs> wow, weird. How did they see the play? Rider, sorcery only! It was a good draw, but wasn't enough. Right, five and three, it's fine. I should probably not do another draft, even though I...